Who is liking this bank failure, man? Pretty pathetic. Now we got yet another one, which the breaking news coming last week. First Republic Bank, 90 plus percent down since the very beginning of 2023. This is one of the reasons I believe Bitcoin is going to crush that $30,000. And I'm going to tell you everything by the end, because people are getting tired, man, of the fiat standard, where you have a Fed that is just printing more money, increasing the debt, and eventually possibly creating a very bad environment for us investors, right? On the other side, you have the crypto standard. And I was hearing and listening to Charles Hoskinson yesterday talking about the same topic. And I couldn't agree more. There's people already who are tired of the way the U.S. fiat is being handled. You know what their response is? Check it out. It's right here. This, is, this isn't a Bitcoin. It first Republic banned stock. It crashed 47% yesterday, 92% in the last year. What? Yep, the FTX contagion first, Silvergate, second, Silicon Valley Bank, third. I mean, all around the world with Credit Suisse. And finally, another one here, First Republic Bank. What in the world is going on, guys? Well, what the Fed is doing is not helping. And let's talk about it. Go ahead and smash your like button, guys. Consider subscribing to the channel. I'm happy to be back. Um, it's important. I want to talk about this topic a little bit more because why it's happening in the next few days will decide whether this is just the beginning of more banks going and collapse and, and the bank failure becoming even more greater, right? Check this out. 1.18 trillion in total crypto global market cap. We're looking strong. We're looking robust. This is where we want to be. We're consolidating at these levels. I mean, $30,000, I believe it's going to be at minimum uh, in March, right? We're seeing ourselves in a really, really good position because guess what? Banks are trying to save themselves. Check this out. Wall Street Journal. JP Morgan CEO Jamie Damon leading efforts to craft new First Republic Bank Rescue Plan. <laughs> Basically, the lenders, the big bank lenders are trying to rescue this one. Why? Because they want to restore the trust in the banking system. Now, the end of the day, yeah, it helps to have money in the bank, but you're not going to get that money into a higher, you know, retirement account or so. It's not going to go any higher, especially when they're just printing more money and making our fiat less valuable. That's why people are shifting to the crypto standard, especially Bitcoin, which instead of going this way, it's going this way starting March the 10th. So exactly when First National Bank, First Republic Bank was crashing, Bitcoin was doing a 42% comeback from $19,000 all the way to $28,000. Are you seeing what I'm telling you right now? When banks are crashing, Bitcoin is gaining, Bitcoin is moving up, and that's what's making a lot of people more excited. And you know what the best news are? We're not even in a bull market. We're still in a bear market. We're still in a Bitcoin season with Bitcoin's dominance is huge. Altcoins right now are paused. Uh, people are accumulating and, you know, they're going to do well eventually. But no, we're not in an altcoin season. Right now is the time for a lot of us to think about the future. And I'm really excited because banks and the bank system, we're seeing some cracks. And that can be capitalized by the people who want to make the next millionaires and billionaires in the next run and obviously there's the power is going to be more centralized centralized in some of the big players big banks and they will try to create new laws and regulations to prevent what the bank failures are happening in 2023 but it's always good to see finally with our own eyes how they're not un uh, untouchable they can be broken and they can be, you know, bring down to their knees because the public eventually has the ultimate power. The bank runs really affected them. And well, we'll see how everything turns out. But I'm pretty excited to see people finally taking ownership of their money with crypto, which eventually, guys, I think is predicted for by some to be a million dollars or so for one Bitcoin. Well, obviously, that's too crazy. But I think a good forty to $50,000 in 2023 has to come back and that is already 2x and we're not even talking about much higher predictions that people have made that is why i'm positive 
limited amount of supply, no more minting, and slowly a great reward system by mining. What else better than that? Thank you for watching, guys. Makes total sense to me. Uh, but you will tell me in the comments down below. Like and subscribe. Join me up with my links down below. They support the channel. And I'll see you next time, guys. Let's see which one is next. Thanks. Be careful. Bitcoin is here. Peace.